Hi there, uh, Adam at Blackpool Boiler Installations. I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you the uh, EPH Combi Pack 4. Uh, so this is a programmable room thermostat uh, that we can fit to your boilers and especially combi boilers. Um, it's really good, really accurate, really easy to use and read. Um, if you're not wanting smart controls or anything fancy on your phone and you think you're not a technophobe, but you want something that's still going to save you energy, be really accurate and do a good job that's user friendly, uh, this is very good and we fit this an awful lot. So I'm going to open it up and um, show you how to use it basically. Okay, so we've just got it out of its box and you can see there um, that it comes on a nice little stand that we can just take off and we can fit it on your wall. Um, but a lot of people like to have it just on the stand. Okay, so what we're going to do initially is um, I'll just show you the main screen so I'll flip it down and we can see there that it's basically got the temperature of your room on this side and on that side it's got the time and the date okay so initially I'm just going to show you how to set up the time and the date maybe you've had one of these fitted and it's been reset you've changed the batteries or the engineers not left the correct time in the date and it's pretty annoying to be honest so it's really really simple so the first thing we'll do is we'll just set the time and the date okay so all we have to do is if I press time just there it flashes the year so it's got 2019 there so we'll go up to 2022 we'll press OK now it's got the month flashing so it can go all the way up to 12 so we're in May so number five okay uh, what date in May are we so we're at the 20th okay so we'll just press up and down to go to number 20 there we go press OK now the times flashing so what time are we on so it's 1246 so 12 OK 46 OK and that's it that's all you have to do to set the time up then if we go back to our main screen I'll press manual control and now you can see it's got the correct time and the date and the little day above there as well as reading our temperature so that's just a dead easy quick way to set the time on your EPH Combi Pack 4. Um, really good, really easy to use. Okay, so now we know how to set the time up on the uh, control. Let's just have a look how best to use it. So you can either have it to come on and off at, at different times of the day, or you can have it just on manual control. So basically you're in control of the temperature of your property by turning it up and down there. Or you can just have it off if you don't want the heating on. Um, but most people, to be honest, will use manual control. So I'll show you through um, how we do that now, okay? So you can see on the main screen just there, if I press OK, it brings a little light on. Uh, it does go off just to save batteries. Um, but if I bring the little light on, and if I press manual control, it says man just there. Now the current temperature is 25 degrees, so pretty warm in here. Um, if we want the heating on or off, all we do is just turn that up to whatever temperature you choose. Okay, so you can see I'm going up and down 20 degrees. Let's say I wanted it set at 20. I'll take it to 20. It's flashing just to communicate with the boiler. Okay, and then it knows that now we want 20 degrees. Okay, obviously the heating won't come on at the minute because it's 25 and we've asked for 20. As soon as the temperature drops to 20, the boiler will kick in of its own accord and come on and keep you at 20. And your house will stay at 20 or above for the rest of its life, okay? Unless you decide to turn it up or down. What a lot of people do in summer is they just turn it down to say 18 and leave it all summer. It won't come on in summer because the temperature of your property is already gonna be above 18, so you don't have to worry and think, oh, I don't want it to come on. It won't anyway, because the temperature is gonna be above that. If you did get a bit chilly, we just turn it up and you can turn it up to what you choose so in this case I'd have to take it above 25 to bring the heating on it flashes just to communicate now you can see there's a little flame symbol that's because we've said to the boiler please come on I want 26 degrees and it's only 25 so you've got a little bit of work to do that's manual control okay you're in control of the temperature and you can just leave it at whatever desired temperature you choose. Manual control is definitely the most efficient way um, and the best way to save gas. Okay, so that's manual control for you. Okay, so 
how do we set the control up uh, on your EPH Combi Pack 4? So how do we set it up to come on and off at different times of the day? So you don't want to use manual control, you want it to come on at 8 in the morning um, until dinner time and then you just want it to come on in the evening. And that's how you prefer to use it, no problem. So we get our little control just there and we press the little program button and you can see that the first time of the day is flashing. All we do is press up and down to whatever time we want it to come on. So let's say eight o'clock, okay? So 8 a.m. is now flashing. We press okay. Now we've got a choice of what temperature we want to get it to at eight o'clock. So you might want it really warm in the morning. You might just want it at 20 degrees. So we tell the boiler, come on, get my house to 20 at eight o'clock. We press okay. The next one flashes. What time do we want it to go off? Okay, so it's come on at eight. You might say go to work at nine, so you just want it on for an hour. So at nine o'clock, you want it to go off. Press OK. Now you can see the temperature's flashing again. So what this temperature is, this is the off temperature. So while, you're, while it's gone off, do you want it to be completely off and not come on? In which case you could have that down to say 10, then your house will never come on. Or you can go up to kind of a setback temperature of say 18. What that means is when it's gone off at nine o'clock, if the house did drop to 18 in its off period, it will come on as a precaution and just keep you at 18, okay? Most people who do it this way have that really low because they want off as in off. They don't want it to come on. Um, you might be old school, you're used to on is on, off is off. So for this example, we'll go down to 10 for its off time. We press okay. The next one flashes. Do we want it to come on at dinner time at 12 o'clock? Okay, we might not. So we'll override that and go 12 at 10 degrees until 12. So it'll just override it if we do 12 till 12 and keep the temperature at 10, then it can't come on. And then the third one is, what time do you get home from work? You might think, right, I get home at half past five, so I'll put it on at five o'clock. Okay, and you want it to come on a bit warmer tonight, so 21 degrees, but you can go up and down, press okay. And then the last one flashes, what time do you want it to go off? So let's say your bedtime's 10 o'clock, you tucked them in bed by 10, you want it to go off, and then in the middle of the night, you don't want it to come on until eight o'clock the next morning, so you might want to put it down to 10 degrees. Again, if you didn't want your house to drop that low, you could put that up to say 17 or 18, and then in the night, it will come on as a precaution. But if you want off as in off, take it down to 10, press okay. That's all you need to do with that, and to make sure that works for you, we press auto, just on the screen there, and can you see how it's gone to auto? What that means is now, is the boiler will listen to the times that you've set, okay? So that's the way to use it if you want it on automatic times as opposed to manual control. Uh, hope that helps, but it's dead easy to use, um, and if you've got any problems, obviously, give us a call.